remember that a noun is a word that is used to refer to people, places, things, events, substances, and qualities. Now, have a look at the example over here. The dinner was amazing today. In this sentence, the dinner is a noun and it is used to refer to a thing. Now, material nouns denote material or substance from which things are made, as in the examples below. A plastic bottle, a diamond ring, etc. Note that the word plastic is a material noun and it is used to describe what the bottle is made of. The same thing with the word diamond. It is used to describe what the ring is made of. Now, material nouns are uncountable, thus they do not have a plural form. Generally, articles are not used with material nouns as they are uncountable. Have a look at the examples below. I really want to buy these cottons pants. Now this sentence would be incorrect because the material noun cotton should not be used in its plural form. The correct sentence would be I really want to buy these cotton pants. Remember, the material nouns fall into several categories. A related to nature. For example, air, water, salt, coal, silver, gold, etc. B. Related to animals. Meat, milk, egg, wool, etc. C. Related to plants. Cotton, coffee, tea, wood, etc. D. Artificial or man-made materials, such as alcohol, cheese, brick, steel, etc. Now, a compound noun contains two or more words which are joined together and form a single noun. Remember that compound nouns can be words written together, words that are hyphenated, or separate words. The first word usually describes or modifies the second word, denoting its type or purpose. Consequently, the second word identifies the item itself. Have a look at the example below. I need to buy a new toothbrush. Toothbrush is a compound noun written together. And the first word, tooth, describes or modifies the purpose or type of the second word, which is brush. And so, toothbrush is a brush used for cleaning one's teeth. Now, there is no exact rule as to when we should write compound nouns together, hyphenated, or as separate words. Remember that if you are not sure how to write a compound noun, consult a dictionary. Have a look at the examples below. Could you go with me to the bus stop? The compound noun bus stop in this sentence is written as separate words. And in this sentence, my in-laws are incredible people. Hyphenated. I love your new haircut. You look fantastic. Haircut is a compound word written together. Note that the stress usually falls on the first syllable in compound nouns. As a result, the word stress helps to differentiate between a compound noun and an adjective plus noun. Have a look at the examples below. A greenhouse is a glass building used for growing plants that need warmth, light, and protection. In this sentence, the word greenhouse 
is a compound noun. And in this sentence, a greenhouse is a building that someone lives in. This building is painted green. In this sentence, the words green house is an adjective plus noun. Now let's review and practice a bit. Remember, the material nouns denote a material or substance from which things are made of. Now, these nouns do not have a plural form, and articles are not used with them. Provide the correct form of the following sentence. Have you seen my rubbers, gloves? Have you seen my rubber gloves? Also, remember... The material nouns can denote things related to nature, animals, and plants. Now read the following sentence and underline these nouns. My ideal breakfast would consist of bacon and eggs and a glass of milk sitting somewhere at the beach, breathing fresh air and enjoying life. Bacon eggs, milk, air. Remember, the material nouns can also denote artificial or man-made materials. Now read the following sentences and underline these nouns. Do you think that Alice will like this perfume? I don't know if she'll like its sweet scent. Perfume. Also remember that a compound noun contains two or more words which are joined together and form a single noun. Now the first word usually describes or modifies the second word, denoting its type or purpose. Consequently, the second word identifies the item itself. Now read the descriptions in the brackets and provide the appropriate compound noun. A machine used for washing laundry. Washing machine. A person who watches what is happening without taking part. A bystander. Now remember that there is no exact rule as to when we should write compound nouns together, hyphenated, or as separate words. Thus, you always need to consult a dictionary. Now have a look at the sentences below and decide whether the words in brackets should be written together, hyphenated, or as separate words. Helen loves going to the swimming pool in summer. Swimming pool separated. Check-in and baggage drop-off for most flights open two hours before the scheduled departure time. Check-in hyphenated. Drop-off hyphenated. I don't let my kids eat in their bedrooms. Bedrooms written together. Here's a short story using material and compound nouns. Listen as I read so you can see how they are used in real life conversation. After I'm done, Make sure you understand all the grammar and read aloud yourself so that you can work on your own fluency and pronunciation. Do you want me to cook something special for dinner? How about just wine and cheese? That sounds simple, yet fancy. Let's eat outside then. Yeah, I'll take some clothes so we could sit on the ground. Just don't take that cotton cloth. I had a hard time washing it last time. Roger. 
and I'll probably order some takeaway too in case we get very hungry. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. Read the following sentences and underline the material nouns. A. These leather boots are too expensive for me. B. You need to fry it in vegetable oil for 10 minutes. C. Throw some wood into the fire. It's getting cold. D. I don't like cast iron pans. They are very heavy. E. She bought stunning silk stockings. And now, read the following sentences and form compound nouns using the given definition. A. A room with a bath or a shower, a sink, and sometimes a toilet is called a... B. If a person has red hair, we call him or her a... C. The time in the morning when the sun appears is called. D. Is the main character of Disney's first animated feature length film and The Seven Dwarfs. E. The father of your husband or wife is called a... And now, let's check your answers. Leather, vegetable oil, wood, cast iron, silk. A room with a bath or a shower, a sink, and sometimes a toilet is called a bathroom. If a person has red hair, we call him or her a redhead. The time in the morning when the sun appears is called sunrise. Snow White is the main character of Disney's first animated feature-length film, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. The father of your husband or wife is called a father-in-law. Thank you for watching this tutorial.